Rheumatic disease that if you're born in Nigeria, it can't suffer from loneliness. Do you know how rich you have to be in Nigeria to be lonely? We are suffering from overpopulation. <laughs> Here in America, we're like, oh my God, I'm so lonely, it's leading to depression. We cannot suffer that. <laughs> Number three, allergies. <laughs> It is only those who have choices that can afford allergies. <laughs> In that, please, what food do you want to be allergic to? <laughs> if you have allergies in Nigeria, you will die of hunger. <laughs>
What's your name? Mr. Loverman. Mr. Loverman, what's your name? Not too much, too much. What's your name? Shell. Shell. This is Nigeria for your television. It's the same thing. Shell. I'm going to the market now. You see those plates? You know what you don't do? Leave it for me. You're not doing your homework. You're not doing your homework. Well done. <laughs> the next thing is continue. <laughs> That's the last thing you want. <laughs> or if they come to your room and your room is scattered, your room is scattered. So scatter is more. <laughs> From that moment, you start thinking faster and faster and faster. And I've also noticed. That you here, die, you, die you can ask your parents for something in the Western world, they will repeat it, and you still do it, and you get to leave. <laughs> do you know that where we come from, when our mothers repeat our sentence, <laughs> that's what we like. especially when they put small drama in it. Like, here, you can. I said, Mom, can I go and play football? I said, Oh, you want to go and play football? Go! The child will go and see their life. Where we come from, if your mom says, say, Mama, I want to go and play football. Eh? I want to go and play football. Where are you going? That will be your last day. That is the power of the Nigerian mom. Give our mothers a big round of applause. That's why we're very smart. Now, to our fathers, happy belated fathers, to all the fathers in the other side of the We know that African men are trained to cry inwards. They don't really show emotions. I can bet here only one out of ten over the age of 40 can boast that your father to die. Do you love me? And that's a son. He go ask me that. I love you. I love you. And they started crying and they found themselves. I don't know what evil speaks. Give me that. Or whatever I can. Me too. And I look up. Face my ass. Daddy. Do you love me? From the way you look at me, it was at that moment I knew I fucked up. <laughs> I know African prayers start every day with question. He said, Is your head correct? Are you okay? You live in this house for free? Free food? Free clothes? I take you to school? I bring you back? You are not walking on the streets? You are still alive? And you have the effort? You are just to ask me if I love you. As I'm looking at you right now, go and do your homework. As I was doing, he said, if I come back here, you, do you love me? I said, Daddy, I love you. He said, if you love me, after all the money I spent on you, you see, come last in your life. He said, I love you. From that day, I never asked him again. Let's give ourselves our parents a big round of applause.
the third person, I knew it. The fourth person, follow this uh, hand ability for your sexual enhancement. There's always one pocket like that. Now look at this bomb and say, man, this is a I'm pushing that guy. You correct that. In actual fact, you know, me and my men, like, no, you're not homophobic or anything like that. We are cool. But the thing is, we, there are things we can't do. So in my mind, I'm like, have we done anything to give anybody that, because the chief said, does not let me touch his hands. <laughs> You know, it's girls. Girls can touch themselves. When you see girls together getting ready to go clubbing, why well, can't be naked? You know, oh my god, oh my god, look at your boobs. <laughs> and she likes to have touch it. It's nice, right? Oh my god, you're so soft. Wow. Look at man, your boyfriend is enjoying Look at you. It's nice, right? Oh my god. They let themselves touch themselves. But me and my men, I have never walked into the room and see Bushi naked, creaming his body, and I come to him and say, man, oh, yeah. 